on the mountain, in the valley, in the crowded streets, or the empty desert. In our hope and in our waiting, we are never alone. God is with us. Our reading for today is Matthew 2. And Matthew 2 is regarding the, the wise man, the flight into Egypt, and the uh, from Egypt to Nazareth. I, I want to look today at Matthew 2 and the characters within that, that portion are the wise men, Herod, the scribes and Pharisees, and Jesus. Herod was king of the Jews at that time. And the wise men came and said, where is he that is born king of the Jews? No wonder Herod was troubled. Now Herod was a, a ruthless dictator, a uh, ruthless ruler. Um, historians write that he attained his throne as a fox. He ruled as a tiger, but he died as a dog. He executed had executed three of his sons, his wife, his wife's mother, his wife's grandfather, and he was married to an Arabian princess from the Nabatean uh, kingdom, south of where he was from. Herod was half Jew and uh, half Gentile. So Herod had allegiances not, not only to the Jews, but to the Gentiles as well. So he was torn and it, caused turmoil in his life. As we look at this, as I first started reading Matthew 2, I saw the great controversy come alive. The attempt to execute Christ, to kill him as soon as he was born, and yet I see that Christ came not just to give salvation to those who were apparently worthy, but Christ died for Herod. Now, the fact that Herod apparently did not avail himself of that salvation is not the point with Christ. It's that Christ came to sacrifice his life for every single individual that has ever been born. And what we see here is when Herod says, well, when you find him, bring me word that I might come and worship him. Was that all a ruse? Was that, was that all a disguise to, to cover his plot? Perhaps. Or maybe the Holy Spirit was working on, on Herod to, to call him to something bigger than Herod. Um, one other part of of Matthew 2 that keeps standing out is the, in verse 5, it says, for thus it is written by the prophet. In verse 15, that it might be fulfilled, which is spoken of by the Lord, of the Lord by the prophet. And again in verse 17, then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet. And then lastly in verse 23, that it might be fulfilled, which is spoken by the prophet, he shall be called a Nazarene. We find over and over and over again, the purpose of God was fulfilled in Jesus being born, pursued, he fled to Egypt with his parents, he came back to Israel, but he went north to Nazareth to escape Herod's son, who was then ruler after Herod's death. God had a plan, not only for Jesus' life, but for our lives as well. Are we allowing 
God to lead us according to His will, His wisdom, and His plan for our lives. We don't see everything roses here, but we see a plan that worked according to God's will in, in these lives, in Jesus' life. Jesus or God can work in our lives as well to accomplish His purpose for our hearts and for our ministry to those around us. I pray that today God will work in each of us to be the individuals that He wants us to be, to bring His message to those that, that we encounter day by day. May God be glorified. May you have a blessed day.